Hey there, YouTube friends. This is Lester Verano. Thank you for joining me once again for a video. In today's video, I am going to be cleaning up a pair of Red Wing Men's 6-inch Classic Mach 1907 Copper Rough and Tough Leather Boots. Uh, I've had these boots for at least a good year now, and uh, they are going to get their first cleaning. And let's get right into that. So... Uh, I picked these boots up to really kind of like them for wearing over to the junkyard. I have local junkyards all around where I live, and I usually pick up a lot of dirt and rocks and stuff, and it gets all over my car and in my apartment. And I like these because of the sole, uh, of course, with the design here. Uh, not much dirt and rock and stuff to pick up. So uh, they're, and they're also um, arguably the most comfortable pair of boots uh, I've ever had and uh, I just really like them. So let me show you what I'm going to use to clean them up today. Uh, there's a million ways to clean up your boots but I think I got a good I think I got a good method here. So this is all I have. I um, might not necessarily even need all the stuff that I have here but this is what I have and this is what I'm going to use. So most of the cleaning, well all the cleaning is going to be done using saddle soap. I'll be using that. You're going to need a cloth, but I've just got one end wet and one end dry. Uh, in the end, we're going to be applying mink oil. Uh, there's so many different uh, silicone waterproofing, conditioning leather products that you can use in these boots. Now, you may darken the boots if you use this. Matter of fact, you, you will darken the boots if you're pretty much using any kind of oil. I like the dark look, so I'm okay with that. I have some uh, leather protector that I'm gonna also spritz on in the very end, uh, but you don't need this. Uh, I have a nice horsehair brush here that I got from Amazon. You can get these almost anywhere. I'm gonna use this to apply the mink oil, but you don't need this either. You can probably just use your fingers um, and it would work just as fine. I also have a little brush here that I'm gonna use to get mink oil really uh, nicely spread out into the threads here. Uh, but again, you can use your fingers and you don't really need that. Now, these boots aren't particularly filthy. Uh, I don't. I try not to uh, destroy my boots in mud and water and stuff like that. Uh, they're just basically dirty. They need a basic cleaning. And I have a pretty good uh, thick um, bristled brush here. It's a nice stiff brush that is really good for uh, getting out any caked dirt or anything like that. Um, it's kind of overkill for this job because these boots aren't really caked with dirt at all. You can use any kind of um, abrasive brush for getting the dirt out of the threads of your boots around the sole and um, anywhere else there might be mud caked on. For my secret weapon, this is a just a basic sanding block. I'm going to be using the fine grit side uh, this is what I'm going to take to those soles, those white soles, which are on mine are actually, you can see they're kind of brown and they've got some stains going on. First, I'm going to just take out the laces. I'm going to just go through here. If there's any, any debris in here. This will get it out. A little dust, really not too bad. Now we get into the cleaning. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna take the damp side of the cloth and just get a lather going here with the saddle soap. Nice lather there. All right. And just go around the boot.
I'm quite happy with that. Now the real fun is going to be um, seeing the improvement here in the soles and see if we can get get on here with some saddle soap like so. I'm going to use my little sanding block here. Try to just stay on the white part there. And that's already a great improvement. I see that really starting to brighten up. Now this will be a little bit tricky. I don't want to don't want to get into the, the midsole. I want to stay just on this white part here. I don't want to scratch up the midsole. Now, I don't know what kind of a perfectionist you are, but that looks pretty good to me. And I didn't really put even that much elbow, gre elbow grease into that. As you can see that side looks great compared to what it was. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side here and uh, finish this boot off. Just spread the saddle soap on here with my finger. I'm going to sand it. Alright, let's see the results here. here a little reckless but it's okay yeah not bad what do you think take a look at that so pretty good that's that's acceptable you know I could take those out to eat go to a restaurant wearing those you never know how many hours I was in the junkyard with these. But they've, um, they've been to places. So let's take the dry side here and just dry up every, get all the, let's get them nice and dried up. Threads look like new. Really wasn't really wasn't much dirt in there. Really just some dust I got out of there. I'm actually I've worn these quite a bit working on my car. Boots usually take a beating when I'm working on my car. The garage where I work, it's you know it's um, pavement. The, the, the cement when you're getting up off your knees, getting down, getting up and getting down, you know you drag the toe, and you get you pick up a lot of scuffs when you're working in a garage. When you're especially when you don't have a lift and you're standing up and you know, getting up and off off the ground and and laying down on the ground and getting up and laying down, uh, you pick up a lot of scuffs and uh, you, boots. Any boots take a lot of abuse, but uh, these have held up fine. If anything, uh, it, it's only made them look better. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and let's get a, let's get get dealing with this mink oil here. So this is the last step here is the mink oil, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Get it, get it all on my fingers here. Just get it all over the boot. We'll start with the toe, that's where it needs it the most. Now this is gonna condition the boot, waterproof it, soften the leather, and really just extend the life of the boot. You can see I'm pretty liberal with it. I'm not really too worried about having too much. But I think that's enough. here a little bit more here it's 
pretty much just get my hands in there. So get it in, get it in here on these threads. Back here. Yeah. Right in the cracks in here. Beautiful. All right. And you can go in here with the brush if you want, if you really have to. You can get a little, get a little on the brush. Go in the threads, get it right in the threads here, real good. Really don't have to, but horsehair brush. Get them from anywhere. Then you take the. The horse hair brush here. Actually, use a little bit more up here. You get a little crazy here. A little up here. All right. And then just use the brush to give it a nice finish. All right. but not least what I'll do here is I'll take a little mink oil here on my fingers and just get my lace there my leather laces all right we're done with the brush done with the saddle soap lace it back up here all right make sure they're even pretty even as you can see the before and after pretty dramatic for what it is there that's it thank you all so much for sticking around for this long watching the whole video hope you liked and um, I'll see you in that next YouTube video thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and all the comments and likes and subscribes and if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel Appreciate you being here. This is Lester Verano. See you later. Bye.